Moderate blood sugar levels are recommended for patients with type 2 diabetes, as per new research. Conducted by the American College of Physicians, the evidence-based guidance study stated that patients with type 2 diabetes should be treated to achieve an A1C between 7-8% rather than 6.5-7%. to An A1C test measures a person's average blood sugar level over the past two or three months. An A1C of 6.5% indicates diabetes. ACP's analysis of the evidence behind existing guidelines found that treatment with drugs to targets of 7% or less compared to targets of about 8% did not reduce deaths or macrovascular complications such as heart attack or stroke but did result in substantial harms, said researcher Jack and. The evidence shows that for most people with type 2 diabetes, achieving an A1C between 7-8% will best balance long-term benefits with harms such as low blood sugar, medication burden, and costs. ACP recommended that clinicians should personalize goals for blood sugar control in patients with type 2 diabetes based on a discussion of benefits and harms of drug therapy, patients' preferences, patients' general health and life expectancy, treatment burden, and costs of care. The rationale and guidelines that recommended lower treatment targets, below 7% or below 6.5%, is that more intensive blood sugar control would reduce microvascular complications over many years of treatment. However, the evidence for reduction is inconsistent and reductions were seen only in surrogate microvascular complications such as the presence of excess proteins in the urine. If patients with type 2 diabetes achieve an A1C of less than 6.5%, ACP recommended that clinicians consider to intensifying drug therapy by reducing the dosage of current treatment, removing a medication if the patient is currently taking more than one drug, or discontinuing drug treatment. Results from studies included in all the guidelines demonstrate that health outcomes are not improved by treating to A1C levels below 6.5%, Dr. In said. However, reducing drug interventions for patients with A1C levels persistently below 6.5% will reduce unnecessary medication harms, burdens, and costs without negatively impacting the risk of death, heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, amputations, visual impairment or painful neuropathy. ACP also recommended that clinicians should treat patients with type 2 diabetes to minimize symptoms related to high blood sugar rather than targeting an A1C level in patients with a life expectancy less than 10 years due to advanced age, 80 years or older, or chronic conditions, such as dementia, cancer, end-stage kidney disease, severe COPD or congestive heart failure, and patients residing in nursing homes, as the harms of A1C targeted treatment outweigh the benefits in this patient population. Although ACP's guidance statement focuses on drug therapy to control blood sugar, a lower treatment target is appropriate if it can be achieved with diet and lifestyle modifications such as exercise, dietary changes and weight loss, said Dr. Ed. Noting the policy implication of its recommendations, ACP suggests that any physician performance measures developed to evaluate quality of care should not have a target A1C level below 8% for any patient population and should not have any A1C targets for older adults, for example, age 80 and older, or younger individuals with limited life expectancy because of other serious diseases and illnesses. The findings from the study are published in the journal Annals of Internal Medicine.